Well, hello, and welcome to Stop, Let's Team Up, my Legion adventure number 28, and we are going to be covering Adventure Comics 312. Uh, this is a big comic. It's important in Legion lore. It's important to me as uh, a nerd, as it is a transformative issue of a comic that kind of hooked me even more into Legion than I was, uh, because it's, it's such a great comic book. It's a great comic book for its time. It's important to Legion lore. It, it, there's just a lot. But let's get to talking. Let me get the index open. And we're going to discuss Adventure Comics 312. Uh, cover date, September 1963. Cover credits, Kurt Swan. Woohoo! George Klein. Woohoo! Letter, Irish Schnapp. Uh, first story, the lead story is a 15-pager, and it is a Legion story. It is uh, the super sacrifice of the Legionnaires and part two, the bravest Legionnaire. Roll Call, Saturn Girl, Cos Chameleon Boy, sorry, Chameleon Boy, Superboy, Sunboy, Monel, Lightning Lass, and spoilers, Lightning Lad. How? Well, the synopsis will tell you, and that's coming up next. Oh, supporting cast Prody. Um, some other stuff. A uh, lot of heroes do not appear. The bulk of the Legion are not in it. But let's get to the synopsis from the lovely The Legion of Superhero Index. The Legionnaires anxiously await the arrival of Monel, who has traveled to his home planet to find some way to revive their fallen comrade, Lightning Lad. When he returns, he claims he to have failed, but Saturn Girl reads his mind and discovers that he is lying, although she cannot think why. Refusing to accept defeat, the heroes dedicate themselves to find a way to return Lightning Lad to life. Unfortunately, although they comb the galaxy for leads, they can unearth no working method. Finally, Saturn Girl confronts Monel with her knowledge that he does know a way to bring back their friend. He explains that a device can be built that will channel a lightning bolt through a special steel rod into Lightning Lad's body and resurrect him, but without killing whoever holds the rod. The heroes decide to let fate choose which of them will sacrifice his life. Six legionnaires bring their comrade's coffin to Lightning World, and holding identical rods, Wait patiently to see who will be struck. However, Saturn Girl has secretly constructed her rod of derillium, a highly conductive metal. Finally, a bolt of lightning strikes her rod and revives Lightning Nad, just as Saturn Girl emerges from a nearby cave. She explains that it wasn't she who died, but Prody, Chameleon Boy's pet, who had discovered her plan of sacrifice and lured her into a cavern and then taken her place. Um, this is kind of, someone posted it on, uh, Twitter in response to my, th um, my putting out my preview images for this episode. Um, uh, and I'm going to read that quote and give him credit for it. All right. I had to pause to find out who did it. It was from Kirby at here's Kirby. Um, a big fan of the podcast. Always, um, sharing and retweeting. I appreciate it, Kirby. And his, his take on this great issue has to be the first flat out comic resurrection, right? If so, it needs to be placed in the genres canon. Kirby, I think you're right. And if I'm wrong, someone tell me, let us know, because that's what amazed me as a kid and made me learn that in comic books and soap opera, you're not really dead, even if you saw the body. But um, it, it is a game changer. Uh, Legionnaire uh, at RNDL Burns uh, on Twitter said, Great episode. What a brave little shapeshifter. Yes, Prody dies. It is really sad. It really hit me this time. It really hit me this time. Um, the Lynn Savage, uh, not that other. Um, another Twitter. He said, Don't tell me what happened. I'm only up to 267. Well, don't, skip this one. Um, RP Cinder Bell 5 said, poor Prody, and replaced without a tear. Yes, we also get our first legacy Prody. It's a legacy Prody. It's Prody 1, Prody 2, like the Flashes. Um, Wayne Bibb, um, the wonderful Wayne Bibb uh, from the Virulent uh, podcast, he um, said, I never understood the writer's choice include Superboy and Monel. Their invulnerability wouldn't be tested by mere lightning, or so their life forces would likely stay right where they were. And my response was, it was the age of the ever-changing power levels. It was Superman and Mon-El and these uber-powerful people 
always had a random weakness in every episode. So I said, is kryptonite, is magic. They always found a way to depower him um, for some silly reason in these stories. Well, that's what everybody thought. I love this, and I want to say um, I think it's a great story. It's got a lot of action. It's got a lot of drama. I mean, it's it's over-the-top drama. It's not, you know, subtle in any way. It is 1963 Silver Age DC Comics. So there is that wholesome level, that Hayes Commission kind of pure, uh, you know, everything has to be very sanitized and very, and it's written for kids, you know, it's written for six to 12 year olds. Um, I will say this with the art this time, which, I, oh, I didn't read the art credits. I'm a bad host. Hold on. Flip pages, flip pages, flip pages. Okay, this story was by uh, editor Plotter Mort Weisinger, Plotter scripter Edmund Hamilton, penciler Inkle John Forte, letter Milton Snappen. Um, I've been saying nice things about uh, Mr. Forte's art. This one is a little less. Uh, I read a review of an, someone else talking about it. Uh, it was in Tony Isabella, and it was in Tony Isabella's uh, blog. I don't know the date when it was published, but he did it, and he talks about how the Forte art is kind of stiff, but the faces are great. I agree with that. It's it's There's a lot of stiffness in some of the layouts again uh he does have people he has his patented you know sitting at the table with his uh the name plates but they're a little more in you know they're different positions it's got some nice flashbacks the faces are great um uh lightning lasts is grief you don't see you know they're dealing with grief i mean it's very cartoony but it's not that you know it like you'll see someone die in a 60s tv show they die and you know, it could be the best friend of one of the leads, but by the end of the episode, yeah, he's over it. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, I'll have a new best friend next episode. Uh, kind of thing. The Great Reset. And this one is because this is one reason I like this is because they're undoing something. And it was probably planned. I'm assuming it was somewhat planned or maybe they got letters that said bring him back. Uh, I will Google that and um, find out maybe. Uh, what a, during a pause here where I'm editing, but they go off on different adventures. Uh, Monel and Saturn Girl go to one. They go to one planet. Superboy goes to a blue sun and scoops a little bit of blue sun up and takes it and shines it on lightning light. It doesn't happen. Saturn Girl and uh, Monel go to Tarak and they find an animal that uh, dies and comes back and they find out what it is. Is while it dies, it hatches its replacement and it's more, you know, like a phoenix and um. She's real upset. The other Legionnaires, where did they go? Hold on, did I miss that page? I'm flipping through here. Um, nope, it's after this. It's in the next chapter. Chapter two. Um, so you have Lightning Last, Sun Boy, Camille Boy, and Prody heading to the uh, the third group. And they're headed to the Intertanded Planetary Post Office. And they fight some dragons. Um... And that the Science Foundation score has this little thing and they put, you know, they put them in a, a capsule and someone's reanimate. So they take the capsule back and they try and it doesn't work. And Saturn Girl, you know, tricks Monel. I mean, she she confronts him about, you know, that there's a way to do it, but someone will have to die. Um, and the, I like how you really don't know. The first time I read it, I didn't know this story. There wasn't, you know, the Internet to know what was going on. But I read this shoot i may not have seen this until i'd read you know i was into right before probably the roy thomas era but i remember my brother getting this issue and going look what i got the return of lightning land and i knew i knew the legend because they referenced it and there would be flashbacks to it in comics and blah 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 um and i remember reading it and it freaking me the hell out how good it was and it is i you know i hadn't I hadn't read a lot of the Silver Age stuff. This is where I started to buy some issues. My brother had a few, and that's when I was working in comic, you know, comic shops and stuff. So I started to buy because some of these were really cheap. This one was not. This was a pretty pricey comic, even back then, like twenty bucks for that was huge. Um, but I like how in this is it's Saturn Girl on pay on the next next to last page. You see her painting the rod. She's going to sacrifice herself. Um, and she follows Prody into the cave. She's asking about, it. and then it jumps to when they're the light. They're standing around his thing with the lightning strike, and it's her. And I mean, and they have four panels to go. Oh, it was Prody, by the way. And um, she's sad that Prody sacrificed herself so she could be with her boy, with her, 
you know, her, her the love of her life. Saturn Girl and Lightning uh, Lad is the love story of the ages in the 30th century. Um, I think it's a great comic. I think it's a great example of Legion. I mean, it's one of those standout important issues, I feel. I think it's a lot of fun. It's it my beat up copy of Volume Two of the Legion Archives. It's it's wonderfully colorful and th- it was nice to read it on the app too. It was bright, shiny, silver age goodness, and it was you know nice to see him come back. Prody, there's a new Prody introduced in the next uh, our next installment, and it is not an adventure comic. It is Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen number seventy two from October nineteen sixty three. The World of Doomed Olsons. Uh, and it's Jerry Siegel, Kurt Swan, George Klein, Jimmy and the Legion of Superhero Story. And Prody 2 is introduced. Um, so it's great. It it was a lot of fun. I loved it. Um, I hope... If y'all are reading along, it's on the app, which is good. Not all of them are. It's spotty. I don't understand. If you've got a copy in a book, you got a copy of the negative, put it on the app. Uh, you'll get more people. The more you put on it, the more people will come as long as you keep it reasonable because I do think the price is reasonable, DC. Thank you. Um, but it's a fun one, and it's great. It leads into more stuff that's going to happen. Um, the return of Dream Girl and something and the ch- a change in Lightning Lass's power structure and all that. It's a lot of fun. Read it. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Re- I've never read this Jimmy Olsen, so I'm looking forward to it. And I'm, God, there's nothing I love better than Kurt Swan. Um, period, and Kurt Swan, George Klein. Uh, it's amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. So, folks, uh, I've got some friends that are going to be coming on the podcast, uh, theater friends of mine who I've worked for, a couple of them. They're going to come on and talk comics. I think it's going to be a blast. We're going to talk a single issue of X-Men with one of them, and we're going to talk Thunderbolts with another. Jim Jimbo's coming back, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, to Next episode coming up is my those daring defenders, and it is, I think defenders four or five. I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. It's in the other room. Don't don't kill me. Um, but a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, also, if you're in a Doctor Who mood, um, we've done two episodes about Doctor Who comic books um, over the last few weeks, and we're going to re- be recording another one this weekend. That'll go up in two weeks, so please check that out at Gallifrey's Most Wanted, a Doctor Who podcast. Um, and you can find that on Twitter at, uh, at Gallifrey MW Pod. Um, and you can find us on Twitter, which is where I'm mostly active at JSA4E. That is JSA, the number four, the letter E. And all I ask of you folks is be smart, be safe, be kind, and read some comments.